What is up guys and welcome back to the channel. I'm the Bear Market Miner and in today's video we're going to look at this monster 10x6600 XT mining rig. We're going to start by looking at the parts and the build and then later in the video we'll go into the overclocks, efficiency and find out if and when this mining rig will ROI so stay tuned. Let's get into it. Let's start by looking at our motherboard here. This is a TB250 BTC Pro, which I got as a package on off eBay secondhand. It came with all of these parts, including the Fury HyperX DDR4 memory, a stock cooler, and of course a trusty G3900 Celeron CPU underneath. Some of the more smaller parts we need, of course, are our 128 gigabyte SSD, We've got our PWM fam splitter here and our trusty 24 pin ATX splitter. I bought a lot of these EVGA 1000 watts uh, G5 power supplies as a bundle, so I got a really, really good price on those. Great, great power supplies, trusty and super efficient. Up here we've got our 10 PCIe risers and adapters along with our trusty screwdriver kit and accessories for all those random size screws. And here we have what everybody really wants to see, 10 6600 XT graphics cards. So first we've got the five, I believe, of the Sapphire Pulse uh, 6600 XTs. Got all these secondhand as well as a package off an old seller. These are really nice cards, um, but not my favorite of the lot, um, but we can get into that. I have up here one Lone Wolf, the Sapphire Nitro, uh, which was included in that package, and of course four of the trusty Radon Power Color 6600 XTs. Great, great cards, especially as far as efficiency is concerned. But yeah, that's going to uh, wrap up all the parts. So we'll talk about some pricing at the end, but let's get into it. OS and everything is working nicely. Everything has showed up. Cards are nice and cool, even in the middle of summer over here. So we'll go through with a few of the next steps um, before we can start mining. So I first like to set up my auto fan settings. I generally like a uh, target core temp of about 55 degrees and I always set my minimum fan speed to at least 50%, 50 or 60%. Um, fans are easy to replace, graphics cards aren't, so it's always important to keep them nice and cool. My critical temp, I could probably go a li little bit higher actually, we'll go 68 degrees. Now people will say that cards can run fine at these temperatures, but I like to keep them as cool as possible. And of course, reboot on errors. So once we have all of our cards in HiveOS running nicely, we want to create a wallet and a flight sheet. So firstly, we will go into create wallet, click add wallet, our coin will be claw, our wallet address, you will put whatever your respective address is where you're looking to get paid out, and the name we'll call test test, click create, 
that wallet has been created. Next, we'll need a flight sheet. So we'll go into flight sheets, click on coin, claw, wallet, whatever your wallet name that you choose is, pool, whatever pool you like to use. I like to use, where is it? K1 pool, USA, click apply. Now miners, you can also use whatever you like, but for AMD cards, I feel like Team Red Miner is, is the number one. It's been great for me so far. And click create flight sheet. So if we jump on over to hashrate.no to get our overclock settings, before we do that, I would like to go into the coins and show you exactly why I chose the 6600 XT um, for this mining rig build, specifically for core power algorithms. So if we type in claw here, Claw AI, if you go on over here to benchmarks, we can see that right at the very top, well, second from the top, only bested by the 6800 XT is the 6600 at 0.26 mega hash per watt. Um, so it's nice to be right at the top. And with my focus on efficiency in this bear market at the moment, hard to go past the 6600 XTs. Now this, as far as I know, transfers across all our core power algorithms. We go into AIPG and benchmarks again, right at the top there. So super, super efficient. Now look, as far as the hash rate, overall hash rate goes, they're somewhere down the second third of the, the hash rate chart. Um, but right now the, the difference is marginal and I'd rather be getting as much revenue per kilowatt hour as possible. So let's jump on over and look at these overclocks. So we'll go into GPUs. Type in 6600 XT, click on that. Now the market's taken a bit of a dump today, which is crypto up and down. Them's be the breaks. Let's find claw. And our overclocks are right here. Now you can, if you'd like, click on users and see what other people have entered in as far as their overclocks. But in my experience, these numbers, it's a lot of silicon lottery. I've never seen 18 mega hash on CorePal on my 6600 XTs, but apparently a lot of other people have. I've, I've tried these overclocks, haven't worked for me, it has barely moved the needle as far as what my hash rate and electricity is. So I like to stick with the main page here, enter these overclocks into HiveOS and, uh, and see how that goes. So let's jump back on over now. We'll enter those in and we'll get it up and mining. So we're back in HiveOS now. All that we need to do here is click on the config file up here and enter our overclocks in. Um, it's pretty much a copy paste, very self-explanatory, but there's a, a million guides out there about overclocking and inputting settings. So be sure to look out for some of those if you have any more questions, but very straightforward. So we'll click save. And all that's left to do now is to shut down and boot and we'll get it up and mining. So everything is up and running. We are pulling a lovely 16.49 mega hash ish um, across all the rigs. The power color is slightly less, but here's why I love these power color cards. For 0 0.02 less mega hash, we're saving on average around 10 watts compared to the other cards. So these the efficiency numbers on these are absolutely crazy. Um, especially for the hash rate they're putting out, marginal, marginal difference. So great, great cards. And interestingly enough, I, I noticed that according to these numbers at 17.4 mega hash, the efficiency of 0 0.26. Now, we're not doing 17.4. As I said before, Silicon Lottery plays a big part. I'm not sure how they got those numbers with these overclocks. Um, We've got three different 6600 XTs and they're all exactly the same. So somebody let me know down in the comments if you've got a better hash rate with these overclocks. But I'm quite happy with 16, around 16.5 because it's actually a more efficient um, setting for me. If we go into back into here, um, into the overclocks, it says a 0 0.26 mega hash per watt. And after entering my numbers into the calculator, we're actually at 0 0.27, so even more efficient um, look, a slight difference in how much revenue we would make 
um, but I'm okay with that. Look, minor differences. We've got to we've got to be as efficient as we can at the moment. So I'm really happy with that. So 10 6600 XTs up and running. What a rig! This is my first sort of nice AMD rig. My first 6600 XTs. I've always been a huge you know Nvidia diehard. Um, but you know, since Corpel coins have become more profitable, it's it's nice to have a, a solid size rig that I can accumulate some coins with. Claw, AIPG, Neuro AI, all of those sorts of things. So very, very happy with how this build has turned out. So that's going to conclude the video, guys, on that 6600 XT 10 card rig build. An absolute monster, if you ask me, when it comes to efficiency. Now, I did break the numbers down at around $1,000 USD, what I paid for this rig. Buying things in bundles off eBay, that's definitely the way to do it. This rig should pay itself off um, in about 400 days, so just over a year. But look, with my belief that prices are going to double, triple in the future, this thing theoretically could be paid off within the next six months, um, which, is, which is really exciting to have all the hardware paid off and then start banking that profit. So that will conclude today's video, guys. Um, we've gone through a fair bit of stuff the build here overclocks profitability efficiency all that sort of stuff so if you enjoyed the video uh, in any way or have found it helpful please leave me a like maybe even subscribe if you're looking for more content and we'll see you in the next one peace